everybody should follow Mike David from Red Bar. We have a great show for you tonight. Of course, yes, I just picked a crumb up and ate it off the table. Oh, now look what you've done. You've attracted the dog. If you're watching content like that, you've gone so far up the deep end. And that's my initial problem with Steel Toe. You know, I was so offended when I saw a listener bring up, oh, I was watching Steel Toe. You should not be watching Steel Toe. An ugly, and that's what I mean about the ugly. The ugly should not be allowed to have shows. There should be a gatekeeper, you know, where you have to. I wanted to work this industry. But when I started this show, my hopes were that I would have to prove myself to a real industry and then break through and then shock the world with my antics. And that would have been fun and that would have kept things fun. Giving everyone their own right to do a show was the biggest mistake in the world. <laughs> Everybody should have their own right to do a show. No one should be listening. And you should have to work your way up to your show good that somebody actually wants to hire you and put you on. And then these shocking things would actually mean something if they were set on a real... Like, I wish everything was like the old days where I had to work and work and work. And then I audition at a radio station and they hire me. And then I go on and I say these little things that I've always been dying to say. And the world, oh, they're getting in car accidents because they can't believe it. That would have been cool. We ruined it by making this so easy that a guy like Steel Toe, which I'm already getting the, uh, and trust me, this isn't from my creatine HCL. This is just from Steel Toe. I'm getting sick thinking that that's a show and I'm in the same sort of business as that. That makes me fucking sick. I want to put a bullet in my head. You hear that, Steel Toe? You are the probably lowest of the low that has ever come out of my mouth on this show. I want you to know that. You aggravate me more than anyone. You make me sick. And anyone who listens to them, just know if I find out, I'll personally He's start hating you as you well. Said that, probably. Yeah, well, no, trust me. That really hurts his feelings because he's always wanted to be like me. <laughs> and he always thought maybe me and him would be doing a call and never, ever. <laughs> I spit on your co-host. I That makes me absolutely sick. I feel violated thinking about them doing my mannerisms. Seriously. Um, so yeah, I, uh, think that that crystal ball and that Janja Gupta, they're the same exact thing as steel toe. And if you don't find steel toe repulsive, and this guy will actually be on a show and go, oh, thanks for giving us such a great blog. It doesn't matter. None of these people are going to listen to you except for Arnand Akkad because he's so loony. So I'm not worried. I'm never worried that everybody's going to go listen to another show. That's what other shows worry about with us. Duh. And um, so, yeah, it's uh, do not celebrate. Do not celebrate because the fucking worst thing that could ever happen to you is for me to be this fucking sickened by your existence. Ah, fuck.